Well, this is new. Storage can kind of be the bane of the existence of a lot of YouTube creators and professional filmmakers alike. And, you know, that's understandable. It's expensive, it's hard to manage, and sometimes you just lose files in your folder directory, and it's a bit of a pain. So I've developed a little bit of a solution here using some free software and a couple of external drives to help you back up using the 3 2, 1 rule of data backup for free, depending on what you already have at your studio. Let's take a look. Okay, so I use a 2019 13-inch MacBook Pro, and since I really didn't feel like shelling out, you know, tons of money for extra storage, mine only has 128 gigabytes of internal storage. So what I carry around with me is this. This is a one terabyte Seagate external hard drive. It's great, it's super slim and portable, and I love to use it. Now what I have at home is this much bigger external drive. This is five terabytes, also Seagate, and it's pretty good. Got an amazing Black Friday deal on it, only $100 for this. Actually, I think it was 95 plus taxes. So that was super ideal. So what I do now is I use a free piece of software called Free File Sync. It's open source, you can easily download it for your machine and I use it to sync that external drive, the, this one, to this external drive. Then I also have a third external drive at a place I visit frequently. For you, this could be your work or your school. And what you do there is it's an off-site backup, which follows the three, two, one rule of data recovery, which if you didn't know, if you weren't aware, uh, three copies of your data, two on-site, one off-site. So this is at a different location and it's somewhere you visit frequently and then you can use this free piece of software to mirror your data between those as well. So let's take a look at free file sync and how to use it. All right, so here we are on my computer and if you want to download free file sync, you're gonna wanna go to their website to the download page, which is this link here, which will also be down in the description in case you wanna check it out. So this is a free open source file synchronization application. So you can see here, they've got builds for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and the source files because it is an open source piece of software. And then they've got change logs and everything else on this page. I recommend uh, supporting the project if you want to, if you can. This is an amazing piece of software as I'm about to show you. So if I open up free file sync, here is what I've got. So I've actually got a few different things over on this left panel here. So this is your synchronization kind of presets, if you will. So it'll show the last thing you did. It'll show you your, and then any other of these files that you have. So .ffs underscore GUI files. These are basically just small files that point to where you want to, um, where you to back up things too. So as you can see, I've got my two external drives open. So this is the one I carry around with me. This is the one I edit off of. This is everything like that. This is um, the five terabyte drive that I mentioned. And if we open these up, we can see that in this backup folder, it looks very similar. Now, normally if you were backing up manually, you'd have to go in here and go, Oh, you know, I made a you know green screen video, copy that over, but no one really wants to do that. So what I've done instead is I've used this home sync. So what this is, is a file path that mirrors with the other one. And there's all kinds of settings you can change. So you can do a two way, you could just update the other side, or you can customize your synchronization rules. I have it to mirror, because if I delete something that means it moved over to another spot, um, and that's kind of that. Then you can exclude some files that you don't want. And then you can also, you know, pick how you're comparing the files to see if they're different. So say I wanted to create a new backup. I can go over here to this last session one and I can browse. Say I wanted to pick up or back up my, um, my sound effects folder. So then I would probably want to create a new folder on my desktop called sound 
effects backup. Then I can back them up to, let's see, back them up to my desktop and sound effect backup. Okay, seems pretty straightforward. Then if I wanted to save this preset, I can hit save. Let's call it sound effects. And I can, you know, put it on my desktop. And it's one of these .ffs underscore GUI files. So there it is, it showed up over here. So then if I hit mirror, it'll go 328 megabytes. Okay, and then it'll start. And then this will show up showing speeds, how much, uh, how many of the files have processed, and it's already done. So, and then say that was my offsite backup that I had, the other four terabyte drive that I keep at school, evidently right here. Then I, you know, came home and I wanted to synchronize it again. So I just go to my preset, it'll scan through. This takes a little while because there's about 650 gigabytes or so of stuff. So it'll scan through all that, as you can see, elapsed time. Like this, this kind of application, open source, it looks very technical, but oh, does it ever work? So then if I start the backup, it'll start going and, you know, it'll give you the estimated time and stuff. And uh, I guess we'll see when this is done. All right. That is it for the backup. It completed. It worked. Boom. Done. Okay. So, and it took about... 9 minutes, 14 seconds. Uh, one of my hard drives is plugged in via USB 2, though, because I needed to connect my microphone for this. Whatever. Um, so normally it would go a little faster. There is no write seat speed penalty. Like, free file sync isn't capped at any, you know, read or write speed limit. The only thing that will happen is when it, scan, it has to scan through your entire drive to mirror it. Um you know, just to see what's new and what needs to be copied over. So the like the bigger files you have, the more files you have, the longer the scanning will take, but it's usually pretty fast and it's very well optimized. The open source community behind this uh, piece of software is excellent. So as you can see, last backup was today. So that was uh, pretty easy. And that's it, that's really it. Um, as I mentioned, the free file sync uh, link will be down in the description to go to this download page and download it for yourself. Try it out. I really like this software. It, it's it's a really great way to back it up, and it follows, as I mentioned, the three two one rule of data backup. It's super easy. And if you already have a um, you know a spare external hard drive lying around, it's super easy to set up, and it will make sure your data is more safe and more secure. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, data backup is super important, and I want to show how I manage all of my files. I know I don't create you know, terabytes upon terabytes of data like a lot of other bigger YouTube channels and things like that, but it's super important to keep backups. So this software, Free File Sync, in combination with Time Machine or whatever you've got, to back up the data that's on your computer is amazing and you shouldn't have any problems. So if I ever do lose data, I'll be back up and running lickety split so I don't miss any of these weekly uploads, which if you're not already, you should be subscribed for. Thanks for watching. Subscribe as I mentioned and follow me on Twitter at KyleGNew.